Good evening everybody, this is Mel Stevens here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you may have noticed, today we're doing a double upload. Yay! Oh, there goes my clock in the background. Um, so as you noticed last week, I was lazy, I didn't upload a vlog. Sorry. Uh, but today, earlier, I uploaded uh, last week's vlog. That was due last week, which was about how I access assisted, assistive technology for social media. Um, and I should have also mentioned in that, but I'm going to mention it in this one. If you want any more information about assistive technology that I use, and if you want me to do any more videos on it, let me know. And I'm going to put a link down below to my technology story video that I did a little while ago with the TAC. So I'll do um, a link to that as well. That was a wonderful video. Um, but today I am here to talk to you about um, my religious journey. I'm sorry if anyone doesn't want to know about this, you can uh, probably not want to watch this video. So I had this question asked um, by a friend of mine from Kyneton Baptist Church uh, quite a while ago and she just wanted me to explain how I came to God. So I'm going to try and briefly do that here in this video. Um, so off I go. Uh, okay, where should I start at the beginning? So I grew up, my mother was uh, brought up a Catholic, my father was brought up at a boarding school where they sung grace and everything but he wasn't really into religion, his family weren't religious or anything um, much. So I sort of grew up with kind of parents who, they basically decided that they wanted me to make my own my own choice regarding religion. There goes Darcy in the background. He's like snorting because he wants me to play. Um, so they sort of wanted me to make up my own mind where I went with religion. And I really didn't know what I wanted to do about it. So my, um, I, I was still brought up with, you know, very Christian values and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But none of the Bible all God stuff really came into it very much. Um, I will probably say that my first, um, my first real experience with God was when I was, uh, in primary school. I had a very good uh, religious minister, um, who, if any of my friends from Kyneton Primary School are watching this, um, you'll remember Father Ray, who was very dear to us, and he did RE at Kyneton Primary School, where I grew up, and he also did, um, have a presence at the secondary school as well. So, I think my first interaction with God was probably back in Father Ray's RE lessons, which were wonderful. He got out his piano accordion and we sung some songs about Jesus and did all those kinds of things. Um, and then when I was in grade six and I was 11, my mum's dad, my pa, passed away. And that was an event that really just did did my head in. It absolutely did my head in. Um, he was he was gone within four months. It was really really quick. It was really nasty. And my pa was um, was a Catholic man. Um, he was actually buried with his rosary beads. And when he was gone, I used to talk to him. Um, I used to ask him for things that I wanted and I used to, I guess, kind of pray to him. And for a long time, for probably five or six years, 
he was my god. Um, he was the only person I really was close to that was in heaven. And so he was, he was kind of the person who, as I said, was my God. And so that went on for, you know, as I said, five or six years. And then when I, um, when I was, I think 16 or 17, I, um, I had a really close friend who her family, um, are quite, quite religious and they went to the Baptist church every Sunday without fail and they were really nice people. Um, the first time I ever stayed at their place, I think it was the first time, I didn't go to church with them. Um, but the second time, I thought, well, hey, you know, I might as well try it. So I went to their Baptist church um, up in Corowa in New South Wales and... When I was at my friend's church, um, I was just, this was just before I turned 18. When I was at my church, uh, my friend's church, I was kneeling um, to pray um, and I had, um, I, I literally had the Holy Spirit come uh, into my body and that was the moment in which I knew that um, I was a born again Christian. And after that, um, that, that, was, that was a really amazing experience. That, that experience, um, I, I can't put into words that experience and just how wonderful that was and how much it meant um, to me. Sorry, I'm reaching over the camera right now, but I'm getting the power cord for my computer. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that experience of um, what happened in church that day, it was just absolutely amazing. Um, and as I said, I knew then that I was a born-again Christian. Um, and so when I um, returned to school, sorry, I'm moving. As I said, I'm just plugging in my computer. Um, so when I returned to school at the beginning of the year, which was actually my last year at high school, it was actually my my final um, year of my VCE, um, I went to Father Ray and I explained to him what had happened over the holidays and, um, and he told me and I said to him that, you know, I was interested in finding a church in Kyneton that I could go to. And I said I wanted to stay with Baptist because that's what I had been in when the Holy Spirit came into my body. And um, Father Ray um, knew the fellow who was the junior pastor at Kyneton Baptist Church, um, a very, very good man, um, Robbie. And... I went into Father Ray's office one afternoon, a Thursday afternoon after school, and Father Ray actually called Robbie for me, and I spoke to him on the phone, and Robbie said, well, we have youth group, um, and youth group is at my house uh, on a seven on 7 o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, which was that night. So I... Um, and... It was literally around the corner from where I lived at the time and I walked around and I went to youth group and I had the most amazing probably 18 months of my life while I was going to Kyneton Baptist, um, meeting so many awesome people, so many amazing people, um, you know, doing so many wonderful things. I It was probably, it was an amazing time. Um, but then, about 18 months after I joined Kyneton Baptist, I found out that Robbie was leaving. And in that time, um, also, dear Father Ray had passed away very quickly um, and very suddenly, uh, nearly exactly 12 months after he'd helped me come to, to Kyneton Baptist Church. And... Um, I didn't turn my back on God, but I stopped going to church when Robbie left. 
and I didn't go to church for a year after that. Um, but after after a year had gone, I, I sort of realised that I should be going to church. And so I went back to church and within four months I got baptised in the uh, 150th year of our, um, or on the 150th anniversary of our church. And there were four of us who got baptised that day and we actually had a special baptism service down in the botanical gardens in Kyneton and we actually got baptised in the Compassby River which was cold, it was muddy, it was disgusting but it was the most amazing experience and um, yeah I, I love that I had such a unique baptism um, and that that was sort of how um, my journey kind of kind of went and I moved down to Melbourne only a couple of months after I was baptised and I went to um, a uniting church in Melbourne which was also wonderful um, and Monash Uniting Church also gave me some wonderful experiences and I met so many wonderful people through that and now I'm in um, my new home here in Mildura and I'm waiting to begin my next um, part on my religious journey which is to go to the Uniting Church here in Mildura which my um, my old minister at Monash Uniting Church has recommended to me. So that is basically my religious journey. Um, I hope you guys um, hope you guys enjoyed finding out how I came to God and I need to stop this video now because it's got 12 minutes and 6 seconds on the clock and I've only got a 15 minute limit for YouTube. So thanks for watching you guys and I will see you in the next video. Remember any comments down below, any questions, you name it. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much. Bye.